if you want to find out more. Hey, send to me. Huh? Send to me now. No. Send to me. Borrow, 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 borrow. Me and beyond. Finally gotten my POB internship in the IT department. I was so close, you know. But ah, uh, yeah, this coastal protection department role went to some other fella. I don't know who. Uh. Answer, my this fella. That's why I came early so that I can find the coastal protection department and see if they can really protect us from rising sea levels. Let's go. Ah, good morning. Hi, I'm Sirius, the new POB intern. Oh, oh, please, allow me, allow me, allow me. <laughs> Good morning. This way. <laughs> I'm lost. Good morning, Auntie. Yes, good morning. I'm looking for the Coastal Protection Department. Can you help me, please? Coastal? Yes. Oh, I know. Ah, she you knows. Wait, eh? wait. I can do, no problem. She knows where the coast... Yeah, so... The... Yes? You want water? Uh, no, no, no. I don't want water. I have a coaster. Coastal, not coaster. Hmm. This auntie. I feel like I'm at the Olympics. Where is it? There? Yeah. <gasps> Coastal Protection Department. Good morning, madam. I am the new PUB intern. How may I be of assistance to uh, you today? Okay, great. Why don't you help me sort these files? No problem. I can sort files. Absolutely. May I ask you a quick question about coastal protection? Because, you know, um, as an intern, I have uh -huh. a, a report to write. Okay, well, as I'm sure you know, coastal protection is a long and complex journey, which is why we're conducting a lot of studies to develop long-term strategies to protect our coastlines. Aha! Long-term strategies. Good job, guys. Good job, every... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Maybe you can break it down for me. You know what? Why don't you uh, put back these files and perhaps put away some of the stationery? Okay? Yeah. Uh, Thank uh -huh. you. Okay, I... Um... Free stationery, my name is Sirius Lee. Hello, sir. Free stationery for you. Would you like some stationery? Oh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. It's sorry. <laughs> you're the new PUB intern. Yes, I am the new intern, Sirius Lee. Seriously? Seriously. Okay, come on, we're already late for our seawall side visit. <gasps> side visit? Let me carry this to the van. Okay, sure. I'm Cyrus, let's go. Uh, Sirius. Of course, I'm serious. <laughs> yes, site visit. But what kind of wall he want me to see? Eh? Do you know? Okay, never mind. Uh, boss, what are we doing here? Uh, going shopping? Eh? No, we are here to see sea walls. Oh, you mean we are here to see walls? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm here. Huh? Hey! Uh, Ken! Uh, excuse me, boss. Ken Wan, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm a PUB intern. Hey! What the? So you are the other fellow who took my spot, huh? And you were the other applicant. You this kind of pattern also can become PUB intern. Can can one? Why cannot? You know we are having so many interns, huh? Uh, boss, 
Yes. Yeah, you see, Ken and I, we come as a package. We, we, we do research together. Right. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we will be writing a report on coastal protection structures in Singapore. This Ken nearly blew my cover, you know. Lucky I think fast, man. Okay, come, follow me. You guys have a lot to learn. Okay, sure. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, alamak. We should stop, never signal. <laughs> guys, here we are standing on top of a vertical seawall. Where? Here. There. There. Here. Here. There. There. Here. There. There. Are you... Here, there, here. There. Are you... Oh, guys. This entire boardwalk along Vivo City is actually also a vertical seawall. Made of reinforced concrete, it can actually help hold back the seawater. So we have many of these hard engineering structures around Singapore's coast, including the greater southern waterfront. So, uh, this kind of thing also can hold back the sea? Yes, it can. It's sufficiently high enough above flood levels, so it can prevent the land that we are standing on right now from being flooded. Oh, I see. Boss, I, I have another question. Apart from vertical sea walls, are there any other types of hard engineering structures? Of course there are. Come, follow me. Besides vertical sea walls, one of the hard engineering structures we have are revetments. So revetments are also built along the coast for so mental coastal protection. They can be designed to lay with the surroundings. So these are earth field structures. Earth, wind, water, fire. To be honest, uh, half the time I didn't know what he was talking about because in school my geography and my science uh, was fantastically lousy. <laughs> All right, boss. Here it be one more time in English, please. I think they're not bad. Uh, Ken was quite good. But serious? Some are not very serious. Ah. Okay, come, let me break it down for you. So besides sea walls, we also have revetments at places like Changi Beach and West Coast Park. So strong materials like armoured rocks are built into these sloping walls to help diffuse the energy and the height of waste. So while revetments can protect our coast from erosion, we are still reviewing if these are enough to protect us from sea level rise. So another coastal measures are earth mounds. They can be designed to blend into the surroundings, which doubles up as a way for us to beautify green spaces by the coast. Okay, I see. But Seriously, if Singapore built so many sea walls and revetments all around the island, won't it look very ugly? No, it doesn't have to be. Come, follow me. Let me show you. Hey, boss, boss, boss. I know where we are already. But why are we here at Marina Barrage? Marina Barrage is a special place that serves three purposes. Three? It's a source of water supply. Huh? It provides flood control. Huh? And... Oh, I know. It's good for flying kite. Seriously? It's not wrong. It's a popular place for recreation activities. So well, as I was saying, we will explore opportunities for future coastal protection solutions to be multifunctional, just like the Marina Barrage. Because our land is scarce, we have to find ways to consider Singapore's long-term land use and competing needs. What's this? Oh, recording device. Uh. Easier to take notes, uh, boss. Uncle Kwe again. This was from last week. Uh. No, la, new batch. Uh, see? You want? No one. Hey, boss. Anyway, uh, all this sounds very challenging, no? Yes. Perhaps, but it is a great opportunity to reimagine ways to shape Singapore's coastal spaces so that everyone can enjoy our beautiful and protected coastlines in the future. Oh, not bad, huh? You did your homework. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Nobody asked him anything, what? Talk so much. Sir. Hey, Ken, Ken, spin class, spin oh, class, oh, quick, oh. quick. Oh. Woo. Woo. Got hand pattern or not? Ah, got hand pattern. Ah. Okay, okay. Cross hand, ah, cross hand. I don't know what they do, lah, but you know. Lah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Can or not? Woo. Yeah. I'm gonna fall off. So slippery on yeah, my backside. Oh, gosh, gosh. Hey, boss, I think I figured out coastal protection. Ah. You just listen. What if we just focus on coming up with one plan to implement and replicate island-wide? That can work, right? Can say cannot. Please, la. you think what's so easy? Ah? Coastal protection is not a one-size-fits-all. Different coastal areas have different characteristics. 
We need to conduct studies to understand each one so we can design the right measures to their unique condition. Then how like that? That's why, on top of being creative and imaginative, we need to be flexible with our solutions. We won't know exactly how much sea level will rise in the future, so we must be prepared to build some of these structures higher when needed. So for this reason, we need to keep ourselves updated on sea level rise projections so that we can adjust our plans along the way. Okay, okay. Got it. Postal protection is not a sprint, it's a marathon. 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 I got it. Ah, Ken, right? We got it, right? Hmm. Ken! 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 Ken one! Ken! Ken! Hi, Ken! What do you think you're doing? Huh? Always disappearing like that. Hey! You two lovebirds! Wow, Pakto from East Coast all the way here. You two lovebirds! You heard of sea level rise, right? They never go home, babe. Huh? Yeah, the clothes are still the same. These two said that you said that East Coast is going to be flooded. So, now, they're on higher ground. Ah, good, good. Both of you took my advice. Hey, guys, guys, guys. Hope you guys got enough information for your report, huh? Oh, yes, of course, boss. Thank you very much. So, by now, you should have a better understanding of what hard engineering structures are. But there's still more to learn. Ah! You mean, there is also a thing called soft engineering. Ah. <laughs> Get it? Soft, hard engineering. <laughs> so you mean there is more to coastal protection than what you've already explained? Yes, of course. We're exploring hybrid solutions where we incorporate nature-based elements in our hard engineering structures. Oh, so nature and hard engineering can combine also? Yep. So how much do you know about mangroves, seagrass and corals and what they can do for coastal protection. Is it just me or are there drums playing? What? Mangrove, seagrass and coral, sir. Let's go! Boss, there is something that Sirius must attend to. Thank you and goodbye. Huh? To the mangroves and beyond! Uh, 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 uh,